So I hit the road to Kuta Beach. Wow, like Gauguin's naked scenery in Tahiti in the 1890s. The whole island is crawling with bare-breasted women. 50 years ago, Bali, all bare-breasted. Gauguin, mm-hmm. Teenagers, grandmoms, who cares? I savor the mellow way they sway their equatorial breasts as they glide like phantoms of flesh, topless, faded, ikat, sarong, batik. Mercifully, in the golden age this early on, Bali was not yet overwhelmed by straight, prudish, Western buzz killers. In 1971, exotica rules, wow. My virgin view of Kuta Beach, wow, oh, geez, excites me. Endless kilometers of fine white sand, a jaw dropping palm fringed paradise. Naked earth freaks are romping in the sea body surfing in the giant, slow-rolling equatorial breakers right now. Where youth is not wasted on the young. We're like, <laughs> getting it on. Um, I walk into a beachside fruit salad cafe. I chat with a freak named Surf, uh, Aussie guy, uh, He's intrepidly hung out in Bali for three years now with not one day off for work. Surf, loose, casual, crazed blue eyes. Glutted on endless Kuta Beach sunsets. Surf uh, gives me a fruit salad heaped with papaya, mango, guava, pineapple, orange, lemon, uh, and tropical nuts uh, capped off with an oozing of sweetened condensed milk. A healthy feast. Huge fruit salad. 25 cents? Surf invites me back to his private room in the Mandara bungalows where I split up with Rose, a rainbow. Fuck, I don't want to see her again so soon. But hanging out as hippies on Kuta Beach is like exposing your private trip on a microscope slide. 1971. A mere dozen hippies, no straight tourists at all, on the entire island. We had it all to ourselves, 71. In the early years, the royal village of Ubud had only dirt pathways and roads, no electricity. In the mystic night, in the hill country, in Ubud, uh, sleepy village, 600 meters in the highlands, naturally illuminated with billions of divine fireflies. Mm -hmm. 